So one of the difficulties as an endocrinologist is that people, lay people, don't understand what endocrinology is. We always know this because we ask the taxi driver, what is endocrinology? And we don't get the right answer. So I've been working on trying to educate people as to what it is. Many people have been to Paris, and they know the Arc de Triomphe. Mm -hmm. They don't remember, but there are eight major highways that go into this traffic circle. And if you think that each of those major highways going into the traffic circle makes a hormone. So one highway makes thyroid hormone. Thyroid hormone goes down the highway. It goes around the traffic circle. And it's distributed to all the buildings on each of the eight highways. Another makes parathyroid hormone and goes around and controls calcium in each of the buildings. Another one makes male hormone, which is distributed on each of these highways. Now, each of these highways distributes to a building. A building is a different organ in the body. So this is what endocrinology is. These hormones circulate in the body. The arteries are these major highways. The buildings are basically the organs that are affected. Mm -hmm. Now, once a hormone goes to the building, it turns on the lights. And this is something then that is a more complex area of endocrinology. We call this intracrinology. Mm -hmm. In other words, the building is responding to the hormone and making other circuits work. And this is the complexity of endocrinology. The, the distribution system around the traffic circle, each of the buildings, and the possibility that each organ can respond to a hormone that's made in any one of these different uh, feeding highways into the Arc de Triomphe. That's endocrinology. Well, thank you. You're welcome.